Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Assume that both of the following sentences are true. Pinocchio always lies, and Pinocchio says, all my hats are green. We can conclude from these two sentences that A, Pinocchio has at least one hat, B, Pinocchio has only one green hat, C, Pinocchio has no hats, D, Pinocchio has at least one green hat, or E, Pinocchio has no green hats. This problem was asked on the 17th Brazilian Mathematical Olympiad of Public Schools. I thank Guilherme for the suggestion and for translating the problem from Portuguese to English. This problem went viral on social media with tremendous discussion about what the correct answer is. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. This is a tricky logical puzzle. So let's solve it carefully. First, we know Pinocchio always lies. Here, we're not talking about the word lie in a real world sense, where a lie could be a misleading statement. We are solving a mathematical Olympiad problem. So a lie in this context means a mathematically false statement. Next, we know Pinocchio says, all my hats are green. What could make all my hats are green a mathematically false statement? One possibility is that some hat is not green. Another possibility is that perhaps Pinocchio has no hat. In that case, when he says all my hats are green, it would seem to be a mathematical lie. We'll analyze this option in more detail later, but for now, we'll leave these two options as possibilities. They correspond to answer choices A and C. So we'll leave these answer choices, and then let's consider each of the other ones for completeness. Answer choice B, Pinocchio has only one green hat. Is this always true? Imagine Pinocchio has two green hats and one blue hat. In that case, he could say, all my hats are green, and he would be lying. So just from this information, we cannot conclude that Pinocchio has only one green hat. So we'll eliminate answer choice B. What about answer choice D? Pinocchio has at least one green hat. Well, consider if he had two blue hats, he would be lying if he said, all my hats are green. So once again, answer choice D is not always true. We can eliminate D as the answer. What about answer choice E? Pinocchio has no green hats. If Pinocchio had one green hat and one blue hat, he would be lying if he said, all my hats are green. So E is not always correct. We'll eliminate answer choice E. Everyone agrees that B, D, and E should be eliminated. At this point, the social media discussion was about answer choices A and C, with many people feeling that both are correct, and they would both seem to be correct. Answer choice A, Pinocchio has at least one hat. And of course, that one hat would not be green. And answer choice C, Pinocchio has no hats. When he says all my hats are green, that would be a lie because he has no hats. But in fact, answer choice C is wrong. And this is for a logical reason. So let's consider a truth table. We have P, Q, and if P, then Q. Based on the truth values of P and Q, we can assign a truth value to the statement if P then Q. But here's the important part of the table. If P is false, then the statement if P then Q is always a true statement. A statement is vacuously true if the premise is false or not satisfied. Let me give a concrete example. Imagine a room that has no mobile phones. Suppose someone said, all mobile phones in the room are turned off. Since there are no mobile phones to consider, of course all mobile phones in the room are turned off. 
This is a true statement. But imagine someone else said, all mobile phones in the room are turned on. Well, since there are no mobile phones in the room, then of course, all mobile phones in the room are turned on. This is also a true statement. Notice each statement is a meaningless truth because there are no mobile phones in the room. You can pretty much say anything you want about the mobile phones because there are no mobile phones to consider. So apply this concept to the Pinocchio puzzle. Imagine Pinocchio has no hats. If Pinocchio then says, all my hats are green, that would be a vacuously true statement because Pinocchio has no hats. He can put any characteristic he wants on the hats because he has no hats. That would imply that Pinocchio is actually saying a true statement. But we know Pinocchio only speaks false statements. Therefore, he cannot have no hats. Answer choice C is wrong. Therefore, the only correct answer is answer choice A. Pinocchio has at least one hat. What an interesting logic puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Bind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.